want to tell you about a choir that planned to lift its voice in song to celebrate the right to vote, forced to change plans for the pandemic. WCPO 9 reporter Brian Mays to, uh, Mains tells us how Muse, an all-women choir, took its plan to celebrate women's suffrage online. When 2020 began, Muse, the all-women choir in Cincinnati, planned to celebrate a milestone in American history with a series of in-person concerts. Then the coronavirus pandemic happened. Because we were preparing for this monumentous an anniversary, being the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage in the United States, we were already planning a program that included music celebrating the occasion. March's social distancing orders forced Muse assistant director Charmaine Moore Kittnesses, Muse director Jillian Harrison Jones, and the rest of the 80 member choir to suddenly change gears. We started rehearsing via Zoom late March and have been rehearsing since. With the help of a Georgia-based sound engineer, the group also began releasing short 10 to 15 minute performances online throughout the spring and summer. We chose music that was a cappella mostly um, because that was going to be a whole lot easier to produce. So far, Muse has produced four performances, which can be viewed for free on Muse's website or YouTube channel. Each video in the series celebrates women's right to vote and encourages young people to vote during this year's general election. We originally had this fall shaped to be uh, in-person pop-up concert that would help to rally the vote. The format that we're taking now is similar to what we planned to do. We just had to switch how we did it. Muse's 2020 concert series was originally supposed to culminate with a performance at Music Hall. Now it will do so with a free 50-minute online streaming performance that starts at 7 p.m. Sunday. We're treating it as a rally, really, that sort of takes everything that we've done, puts it all together, and puts it out into the world. She hopes Sunday's online concert inspires young people who might not have voted yet to do so. Think about what you want to get out of your community, what you wanna get out of your state, and what you want to see nationally happen. Learn more about Muse's virtual concert series at WCPO.com. I'm Brian Maines for WCPO 9 News.